I have a deep cut for everybody. <laughs> I have a deep cut for everyone, and this is directed at Jules right now, but like anyone can join in if you want. I'm going to make a reference, but I'm going to put it in the form of today's movie. And so, is uh, Bring Me Jiu Jitsu the, the, the team? Or the fighting force. <laughs> the man. <laughs> okay, all right. Jules, what am I referencing right there? You're referencing the Japanese movie or TV show known as Mighty Jack. Thank you. Thank you. Mighty Jack, which is, uh, if there's ever going to be a film that this group here makes that is perfect for a dangerous podcast, it is Mighty Jack. And in, Jules, can you please give us the 30 seconds or less definition of Mighty Jack? What is Mighty Jack? Yes, Mighty Jack was some sort of crime-fighting spy organization that fought some other spy organization. But what's important to know about Mighty Jack is they also had a giant plane called Mighty Jack. <laughs> that was also a submarine. And could go to the world. Hi, Jen. Hey, Jen. Hello. Hey, Bunny's here. And we are live. I should tell Bunny we are live. Totally live. But so, so yeah, so Mighty Jack was a team and it was a plane that and the was plane also was, a submarine. The plane was also a submarine and it also had little planes. It was also a carrier of little planes. Carrier. And those little planes <laughs> were also submarines. <laughs> this and is true. It's very important to point out that on the major ship, that if they ran out of the little planes, it was okay because they also had a factory in which they manufactured the little planes. So they could just. What? Yeah. What the fuck it are was, you talking about? I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. I'm going somewhere with this, John. So here's the thing. <laughs> I doubt I, it. Over the course of a summer, developed the plot for an, a giant Hollywood big budget Mighty Jack revival, a reboot, so to speak. Right. And in it, it included the, the line, bring me Mighty Jack, which... <laughs> The team or the plane, the man. <laughs> and I felt like this while watching today's movie, Jiu Jitsu. Because what is Jiu Jitsu? Is it a man? Is it a fighting form? Is it a team? I don't know, much like Mighty Jack. Anyway, welcome I was joking, I was joking around. Well, there's no jujitsu, I can it's tell a, you that. It's a shitty movie is what it is. You know what this movie should, I don't why was it even called jujitsu? <laughs> oh, like, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Let's I'm get getting way that. ahead of it. They should have called it Jujitsu is what they should have called yeah. it. <laughs> Jujitsu is like all grappling and ground defense, none of which happened in this movie. <laughs> no, wait. I actually wrote this down. At one hour and 20 minutes, there was some grappling. Okay. <laughs> so, no, I, I, listen, and you know what, guys? You guys dug in, and I love that you did your, your research. I went further, and no, the, the floor grappling is actually Brazilian Jujitsu. Mm -hmm. Regular jujitsu isn't all that lying on the floor shit that Joe <laughs> Rogan does, it, it, but they weren't really jujitsu ju is really using an opponent's force against you. So if Jules was coming at me with a bag of popcorn and then I hip tossed him, um, that's jujitsu. I'm using his force against him. I'm not actually picking him up and kicking him. That's jujitsu. Wasn't well, a lot of that. I, John, John, why am I asking you? Why are you telling us about this when we have a certified ninja in the group? <laughs> Jason. Yeah, right. We should give, what? I don't know, right. Yeah. yeah. So Japanese jiu jitsu is a lot more throws and joint locks. There you go. Okay. Thank you. So is there jiu jitsu in Burma? Yes, in the movie. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, I do him too. Because they weren't in Burma, and they well, went I out of their like way. I did like the paintings of Burma in the background. Yeah, they put they pasted <laughs> the paintings of Burma in the background. Was it Burma like, or Miramar? That's the same thing. Yeah, I know, but it, like, well, it, it is and it isn't. Well, uh, if I don't think it's Burma anymore. No, uh, no, but I. Uh, oh, so then why did the alien who gave us Jujitsu? <laughs> <laughs> come in Burma and not uh, What's the same Brax? Am I remembering that correctly? Drax, I, Drax, right? It was 
Drax? But, oh, guys, Brax. 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 guys, hey, hey. Do you think go, <laughs> everybody. It's Brax. They won't get that. They're all guys. We are, <laughs> we are going so far ahead. Welcome, everybody. <laughs> Welcome back to a dangerous podcast. I'm your host, Ian Alley Seals, and with my fellow co hosts, compatriots, Jules, Jason, John, and the lovely Jennifer, who is here with us as a guest host today. Now, I know you've missed us. It's been about six years since the Dangerous Podcast team has been together. I know we had a falling out long ago. <laughs> we had that concert on top of Abbey Road. We, uh, We're back, our, baby. It, 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 took right. so much, it took so many hours of yeah. work on our agents' parts to get us back together. And we've been they just threw money at us and said, we need the Dangerous Podcast crew, right. America, Canada and Japan needs them here, and they drove dump trucks of money up to us, and that's the only way all of us were able to get back together. I joke, of course, we finally missed one episode last week. Mm -hmm. One, but it felt like the six years. Over. Yeah, the streak yeah. is over, but you know, I don't. I don't think we missed it. We, j I mean, we're doing that episode this week. We just oh. didn't do it last week. It's not like we skipped anyone's turn. Actually, you know what I'm thinking? Let's give ourselves a if, break here. Sure. <laughs> if you count Cop Rock Nights, episode one, which was an off, off, uh, an off episode. And nobody, nobody can count that. That was we just, did, that was then just we, craziness. Then we didn't miss a week. That's yeah, true. Right. Cop That's Rock cool. into, that, into that week, and we our streak is not broken. Mm -hmm. Bring any lawyer in the land will back me up on this. Oh, before we get started, I, I, I just oh. want to fucking um, uh, bitch about YouTube for for a little bit. Um, Please I do. was I was posting our video to YouTube for the Firewalker episode, mm -hmm. and it stopped me from doing that because it was saying a copyright infringement because I was using clips of the movie um, oh. on that episode. But here's my problem mm -hmm. with that. The clips that I was using was from, taken, was, was from YouTube. They have the full <laughs> fucking movie on YouTube. Oh Not under an official account. It's like, it's literally, it's like, the account is like Joe's Movies. And, he, and he's got like three movies up, and two of them are Chuck Norris movies. And um. so they, they allowed me to dispute it. And I basically wrote, you know, why do you think? And it's like, because the whole fucking movie is on YouTube, and I'm using clips from from YouTube, and then they get back to me like you know it took them like three weeks, and it's like MGM is saying they own this your clips, and it's like fucking hell, get your shit together. Joe's movies, exactly. I that this reminds me of when I didn't want to throw Joe's movies under the bus, but. <laughs> I mean, fucking come on, man. This You're is coming like the after us? The theater that Ian and I work for, I had to put up a trailer for The Irishman. Oh. Yes. And so I put the uploaded the trailer for The Irishman to Facebook. And then a couple hours later, Facebook is like, this is way too violent and disgusting for Facebook. <laughs> and I'm like... Then why is the trailer up on Facebook? Oh like, like it's already there. That's where I got it. It was exactly the same thing. They they can't they can't. <laughs> well, anyway, anyway, guys and gals, welcome back, and I'm really glad that we're on the air here, giving giving the public what it wants. More dangerous podcast, and uh, especially during this heat wave. How are you guys doing? How are you how are you all handling it? Hey, guys, what's up? I have to continuously get in and out of my truck when I go to customers, and every time I get back in, I feel like I'm going to die in like a minute. Oh God! And also remember that Jason is just mining cryptocurrency all the time. <laughs> yeah. his, whole, his whole domicile is just filled there's, with computer <laughs> everywhere. And there's a you know I don't know if this is true, but there's they're, they're saying like there's a new hole in the ozone that's just from uh, Jason's mining. <laughs> He's like causing all all this shit. But uh, as far as the heat wave goes, my girlfriend texts me this morning, um, and she's uh, practicing for a half marathon or something. Like, 
She oh, ran in this fucking heat. Are she you ran five kidding fucking, me? She ran five fucking miles. No, like that's not dangerous. even in, not even in the morning. She, not this podcast running in this heat in five miles. Well, that's it's dangerous. a dangerous podcast, but yeah, <laughs> she was. I'm like, are you fucking crazy? She was just like, babe, I don't feel good. I have. <laughs> I'm like, you ran five miles in this heat. This is at like noon. This is at like its peak. Yeah, and it was it, like it's like 104 get, heat take, index. Get get the shower as cold Where as you can. Get, water and get in there. Yeah. Like but I was I like, get in the shower, take a cold shower, drink a lot of water. If you still feel crappy, call the doctor for fuck's sake. You can't fuck around in this. No. This is like I walked out for five minutes and I was like, I'm done. I'm done. I got back. I know. I, I feel so late. I mean, five fucking I couldn't do that in like perfect weather. Uh. Um, like much less this. I mean, I felt like a weakling because uh, okay. literally i'll walk from my front door to my car and i'll just i'll get in there and i'll be like oh. <laughs> i remember uh, i remember at the beginning of pandemic right about the time that the dangerous podcast that a dangerous podcast started uh i had been furloughed from the theater that jules and i both work at but the theater did allow me to kind of Come can we in. can we say the name of the theater? No, it's no, it's we, the it, Art it, Theater it, in Hartford. If anyone the, wants to the, the art stop the by and the no, the art stop by and say hi to Jules and Ian. It's on Franklin theater Avenue. <laughs> Look for the Art Theater in Hartford. That is uh, not what you're talking about. Say hi to Jules and, and Ian. They're there almost every day. They'd love for you to stop by. <laughs> say Jules and Ian sent you. God, oh, man. <laughs> you know. The stickiest um, place in Hartford. God, that well, place has been there for fucking like, and not because of the heat. <laughs> no, yeah, not like, not because of the heat. It's sticky in the in the winter. Okay, Can you imagine <laughs> all of the. Uh, now let's just uh, let's not go there. But no, no, no. we've we've got to explain this now because we don't want to. All right, all the people from Canada who have no idea what we're talking about. Uh, get it, alien heat. Go all ahead. of our fans in Tokyo, they already get it. But okay, here's the deal. <laughs> all right. So in Hartford. There is one single porn cinema that's yeah. still around. And it's, it's been there since when, guys? Since the 70s? 70s. Right. Since that's 70s. when all porn was like. <laughs> like well, actually, the 70s like, really just like kind of like gave us. Do the we whole know for a fact it survived the pandemic? I Nothing will kill the art theater <laughs> cinema, really. Like, there's people walking around with porn on their phones all the time for free, <laughs> unlimited. And it hasn't even. Touch their. I don't know how they're doing. I don't know what's going on there, but well, something's going on there, and well, they're going to be all, fine. First the whole all, economy will collapse. <laughs> uh, North Korea will take us over, but the art cinema will still fucking be there. be there. I rem I remember reading an interview with the guy who ran the art cinema, who was. I mean, this is a family business. This is a porn family business. Yes. Where, like <laughs> this was the son the of the guy who started it. And when it started, it was an actual art cinema. Like, you know, hence, hence the name, art. right? <laughs> well, there's a fine line between, like, <laughs> art and... <laughs> no, there is isn't. There. There really no, there is isn't. There really isn't. I, uh, I don't know. I, I, I've seen I program some for an there. actual art cinema, and no. There, I know, well, but I I'm difference? talking about 70s art. No, movies. there wasn't. There was, yes, there were. <laughs> there, I will okay. refer you to some. Different, uh, different, maybe we'll watch topic. one next week. Different Who knows? topic entirely, but what the way he said it is that, like, well, they were showing art films, and then at one point, yeah, they showed kind of an on the on the line is it porn, is it art, and then that made a whole lot of money, so they brought in a little bit more porn until like that's and, what happened with HBO, <laughs> <laughs> that's what happened to Cinemax. Cinemax. <laughs> But that actually reminds me of a story. Mm -hmm. um, we also know that I'm a teacher. And at one point, another teacher in my school, this is years ago, pulls me aside and says, hey, um, you work at like a movie theater, right? <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, sure. Yeah, I do. And he's like, do you work at a porn theater? <laughs> what? <laughs> and I was like, a no. teacher who asked you? Different, different art cinema. Very, very different art cinema in Hartford. So um, this was a teacher who asked you this? Yeah. 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 So, so I, you they've know, been there. They've been there. They know. What... <laughs> so Ian, I gotta, I gotta say, um, you know, as, as, you, as you know, I'm, I'm dating a teacher. Sure. So I'm hanging around a lot of teachers and yeah. I, I just, I, I don't know if it's just a circle 
um, that I'm running in with now. But uh, teachers in general, uh, big drinking crowd, uh, <laughs> fact or fiction? True. Oh, Ian's been censored by the. Ian has been censored <laughs> by the teachers union. <laughs> yeah. Unfortunately, the teachers union I, I the uh, you guys got, got their reach. The internet. Guys, that froze for me. That froze for me. The last thing I heard, it was very dramatic. Yeah, oh, no, the teachers union, man. I'm telling you. Yeah, it's, this is just weird timing. Um, this I'm telling you that teacher. That's this a very powerful. It's a very powerful union. The teacher <laughs> union. Yeah. They. Uh, yeah. I guess we should just move they on. Go, they don't want to getting out about. <laughs> the, we are about that booze and the porn theaters and that question is not going to be answered. Um, we are being monitored, obviously, by <laughs> by big chalk. <laughs> Let's just call them. Mm -hmm. Um, I guess maybe if we say we'll move on, then Ian will come back. I don't know. <laughs> What can we do to appease them? Um, we just got to get off the subject of teachers and alcohol. Let's, okay. um, yeah, you well, know, um, I hope all teachers out there have a great summer. And um, let's, uh, <laughs> uh, Ian's gone all together. He might have been knocked off. I don't know, as far as I know. Assassins might have gotten him. Well, I, I think, you know, you know who's enforcing the rules for the teachers' union is Brax. <laughs> Brax, yeah. Must have got him. He, Nice he was uh, <laughs> he was um, recently, uh, I think, um, administered as um, uh, on the board of ed. Hey, let's hear from our friend Albert. Hey, Albert. Albert. Most of the professors I I know see life through the bottom of a nice glass. Hey, Albert. I don't I don't want anything bad to happen to you, so I'm going to remove that. <laughs> we care about I don't you. Want you to, we care yeah, about you. On we don't to want another topic, Albert. <laughs> we we don't want uh, any of that funny business. So Ian is gone and he's not coming back. Um, oh, now here he is. Um, I hope he's okay. Ian, are you okay? Yeah, yeah. sorry guys. <laughs> no, I am. Uh, I am. Let's. I mean, all right. Whatever so we're talking about, we're moving on. You're okay. All right. I, I just. <laughs> no, I, I, no, no, no. I, I'm going to take that as a warning, and I, I just think we need to shut up here. Shut our big <laughs> no, no, fat mouth. Guys, I had, I had <laughs> internet <laughs> issues. I had internet issues. Now <laughs> we were talking about yeah. art cinemas and everything. But one of the things I wanted to bring up, this is all, we, we lost my original sto story, which is, are you guys, yeah, you're still with me. Uh, back during pandemic, when I was furloughed from the theater that we work at, they were gracious enough to let me go back and kind of hang out in my office and everything. And I would be there when no one else was there. And I would jog, I would do my workout in the theater. Like I would jog around the whole inside of the building um, just because there was air conditioning. And that was in the spring when it was like 75 degrees outside. <laughs> I was like, I'm not going outside. <laughs> so, so with that, your girlfriend is, is jogging in 104 degree heat. I'm telling you. Um, yeah. I mean, it was just, you know, it's so she just, you know, because uh, again, she's actually, she has got a goal. And like when she has a goal, she just, you know just all the logic is just out the fucking window. It's just like, all right, every day I've got to go out there and run five miles. I don't even think she, like, I, she was probably running with heat stroke for like two and a half miles. Um, And, like, it didn't even, like, occur to her until she got back. But, like, if you're crazy enough to, like, just go out, I, I mean, when I, when I, when I'm, when I'm out and I see, like, people running, especially in the winter, you know when it's like single digit degrees and you see sure. out, somebody out there running? I want to throw a bottle at them. Like there's something <laughs> wrong. Like fucking, what the fuck are you doing? You fucking animal. Are you fucking crazy? Um, this is why we created civilization. So we can be in a house <laughs> and stay warm and not run around like a fucking animal. Uh <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, I can, I, I can like go on especially, for a long time. About especially that. when but, we need as a civilization, we need to conserve our strength for every six years. Yeah. When um, the soldier of death emerges and we got to be in our tip top shape. Can all right. We so, so, um, we've, all right. So we've broached the subject of the movie where oh, wow. every six years. So I guess for how long, I don't know. I, don't know how long this has been happening, but every six years, the soldier of death comes to um, claim Earth and gets his ass kicked. And then 
I don't know. He rests up for six years. No, he doesn't get his ass kicked, right? No, no, no. All right, first of all, well, he loses. He's head. trying to. I'm you're trying jumping, to. You're, you're, Bunny, what you're are you drinking? Ahead, you're jumping way ahead. It is a Let, let's get into vodka and tonic with some cranberry. Our friend Gareth is here. Let's say hi. Yes, um, the whole family is joining in now. So I, no I, I feel. I feel. I feel. I feel terrible. We, uh, Gareth, <laughs> we love you back. Um, I'm sorry your whole family had to sit through this movie. I hope. I hope. I hope, yes. if, your kid, I hope if your kids were watching it, you gave we, them some wine like you do in France. It. Yeah. You all watch it. They all well, watched it. The whole. Uh, no. Well, yeah. Julia watched it with us. No. Oh, sort of. Okay. Yes, you sorry, did. She, doesn't, want, she doesn't want to admit it, but she was in the room. I wouldn't admit right. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, like, if her friends ask, I will, like, defend her. She absolutely didn't watch this shitty movie. <laughs> With that, <laughs> let's talk about it, everybody. So tonight's film, tonight's film is one that was brought to us by Jason. And normally... Thanks a lot, Jason. Yeah, normally, <laughs> normally... I'm uh, Jason and I Braxton, are of the same mind. <laughs> we are of the same mind in terms of dangerous podcast films. I have just as much of an affinity for crappy late night cable television from the '90s as Jason does. This one hurt me pretty bad. It hurt me pretty <laughs> so bad. W before you go any further, I already came up with one alternative title for this movie, was, which was Jushitsu. I've got another <laughs> alternative title for this movie. Hit us with it, John. Shit Predator. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, Seriously, yes. that's what yes. I was yes. really right? thinking. I don't want to give away too much. It's spoilers. a ripoff of Predator. Sure. With no jujitsu. It's shit Predator. It's the worst Predator. So it's like it's like who can who can like all right, let's let's redo Predator. Who can um replace the star power of Arnold Schwarzenegger? Oh I know. <laughs> Can't say no to a movie role, Nicolas Cage. <laughs> well, he has to pay for all those cats. He's not Arnold Schwarzenegger in this movie. He's not Arnold in this movie. What are you talking well, he's about? He's the star power. He is the star, as far as the, right. Nicolas Arnold Cage doesn't Tony. show up for I, I, 39 minutes into this movie. Yeah, yeah. You know, and you wouldn't know that by the, uh, by the, by the, um, the, the, the cover picture because it's Nicolas Cage in a fucking sword, which they don't even use fucking they don't even use fucking swords in jujitsu. Everybody on Netflix gets different thumbnails, but I got Jake is Arnold. I did not get Jake Nicolas is Cage Arnold thumbnail for this, so I was like, is this even the movie? Because it was just the yeah that happened with me the too. Girl. Um, yeah, so. Yeah. So I'm going to start from the very beginning. When I mean the very beginning, the not even the opening credits, but the the intros for all of the production companies. Because as I'm watching this, I you know they just have all there's like seven production companies that worked on this movie, <laughs> as is true of most films. And then they get to this like animation of the solar system, and then which zooms in on Earth, zooms in on Earth, which I am assuming is going to turn into a company logo that says. Stellar films, or something. <laughs> <laughs> and, I, and I thought to myself, "How does a movie this crappy actually do a pretty complex and big budget, just company logo <laughs> sequence?" And then I found out, no, it's not the company logo sequence; it's the intro to the movie itself. Uh, so yes, we we have these individual <laughs> that are kind of three D animated. Uh, that zoom in on Earth, and then a narrative box, I'm using comic book lingo here, a narrative box pops up that says, The Comet. Now, we have set up our framing... In Comic Sans. <laughs> Was it Comic I, Sans? I gotta jump in real quick here. <laughs> Gareth, Gareth just wrote, it has every martial art represented. I took a drink with every new one. Uh, Gareth it's is true, pretty fucking... Pretty Gareth is pretty drunk right now. There you go. <laughs> Let me tell you that. <laughs> Now, here's, here's my point. This is the way we start, and they create this framing device, this kind of comic book framing device where it will show a panel and cut to another panel, cut to another panel, and then give almost like a chapter marker, and then that will bleed into the scene. The panel will then dissolve into an actual shot that it was drawn from. And I'm so insulted by this. I'm <laughs> insulted by it on visceral levels that like 
they were dragging the art form of sequential art of comics into this shitty thing. I just absolutely hate it. Uh, also, somebody got a lot of shit for doing this exact same thing in a much better movie done in a much better way, and that would be <laughs> Ang Lee's Incredible Hulk. I was thinking about that because that was the only time I could think of that being done. Yeah. However, is this a scam? I get the distinct impression that they want us to think that there's a jujitsu comic that this is based on. Mm. That's, that's the impression. There that is. I got. Yes, there is. There is. That's what I read. There is a there is a comic book. This was a twenty. I'm reading a Wikipedia page. This film is based on the 2017 comic book of the same name, um, by something I can't pronounce. And Jim McGrath. <laughs> so just <laughs> like no one heard of this movie, no one heard of that oh. comic. Did the it's comic the actually have no. jujitsu in it? The movie. I, nobody involved in the story of this knew what knows what the fuck jujitsu is. Okay, let's <laughs> just get that out of the way. No, but I mean the comic from book. that, please. Can we please move on from that? Like, yes, no, we get I it. Know. No, we can get it. We get it. Comic book movies are big. What if we just make a movie and pretend it was a comic book? <laughs> That's I, what I thought was happening. Get that out of my head. That's no, what, I think it was like I comic book. Like. You know what it was, Joseph? Comic book movies are big. What's the cheapest comic book we can get <laughs> to make a movie on? But I'm saying if it was written and written by the oh, people yeah. who wrote this movie, then I think it was a scam. I think that essentially they photocopied a couple copies of a stick figure comic book and said that there was a comic <laughs> book. Jiu-Jitsu. Now, now, I'm simply saying that if they were looking for an unknown comic book to make as their scam movie. <laughs> I published a few. <laughs> I will make very little money. You can use my intellectual property however you want. Please contact me, Ian Alley Seals, wherever <laughs> comic. So I'm gonna try to do, we're already 26 minutes in here. We're getting pretty loosey-goosey as we generally do, but I'm gonna try to steamroll through this craptacular film. Here we go. So it opens up with a meaty, buffy, white protagonist just, like, running through the jungle while CGI spinning blades whirl past him. And have we seen a movie since the Knights of Newgate that had worse CGI than this? In fact, I was getting flashbacks from the minute this started to Knights of Newgate. I really did. And what's unforgivable is the budget of this movie was $25 million. No Are fucking you, way. Kidding. American oh, wait, 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 wait. American oh, dollars or Turkish lira? Yeah, and I'm just saying when you spend that much money, when you've got professional working actors oh, and is. Nicolas Cage, when you've got people who know what they're doing, when every shot is in focus and they can move the camera around with no problem, it should be a lot better than Knights of Newgate, and it wasn't. It really wasn't. It wasn't. It was just as bad. So a couple of kids running around in their basement in England with a green screen is roughly equivalent to the, the race of the know. protagonist. <laughs> so it, it's, it's mind boggling. It's mind boggling. So he's running along and these CGI blades are coming after him. He then what, gets 25 million? The movie. 25 million. Yeah, those, those CGI um, blades were like 12 million. <laughs> Right there, <laughs> half, half of it right there. So that was most the guy, of it, and then like ten, didn't cover uh, Nicholas Cage. Ten million went to Nicholas Cage for like a four-hour shoot. That's just a small dent in his hundred and fifty million. Some of that money game. went to Home Depot for the PVC weapons. The Gareth, PVC. Is, yes, exactly. Gareth is spot on. Yeah, man. Like, exactly. I'll tell you, those drinks are working for him. He is spot on. Those are Home Depot PVC weapons. Frank they say. They saved a lot of money that they they needed to give to um, uh, Nicholas Coppola. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> I mean, can you just? I mean, the thing is, like, can you just imagine Nicholas? See, and Nicholas Cage isn't a bad actor. He just doesn't ever say no to a fucking movie role. And like, he needs the money. I, you know, I think he's just. What's the? I've always thought of this, like having a really good work ethic when you're a Hollywood actor is a bad thing because you're just doing every fucking role that's thrown at you. And you know, he's just a hard working blue collar guy. Like I'm going to go out there and I'm going to say yes to good movies. And I'm going to say yes to 
straight to you know Blu-ray no, movies or whatever. But, also, but that, yeah, that it's isn't in that. to pay for. He's yeah, got castles like, and fucking like you know right haunted houses in New Orleans. Orleans to pay like for. a dinosaur part or something. All of the, so all of the rumors you heard about Nicolas Cage are true. That's what you kind of <laughs> learn. Like when you like read about these things, there's all these rumors about celebrities. But all of the rumors oh. you heard about Nicolas Cage are true. He he's just crazy. Albert, poor Tony. Duh. I don't know. I don't understand. Like in this day and age, there's a documentary on everything. There's a documentary on like that boy band from South Korea, BT five or whatever they're called. I don't know what they are. Um, Cause I'm not a teenage girl, but like <laughs> they just, as far in America anyways, they just came out, but there's already a documentary on them. There's so many documentaries on everything. Why isn't there a documentary on Nicolas Cage <laughs> and like his, I, I, are, I'd watch the fuck are, out of that. There are in there is in fact a documentary about the Superman movie starring Nicholas Cage. I watched that. Got made, yet there is not a documentary on Nicholas Cage. I, yes, I watched that. I watched the fuck out of that. And when I was done with it, I watched it in reverse. I love that shit. He's with his long fucking like he's got this mullet. He's like mullet Superman. It was fucking amazing. Yeah. It was uh, like that was almost I Tim Burton see that thing, wasn't it? So yes, it was Tim Burton. Like nobody else would like, all right, I gotta cast Superman. Uh, Nicholas Cage will, have, will, will grow his hair out. He'll have a cigarette out of his. You know, it's like, he, he reminded me of that uh, character that he played in uh, what was it, Raising Arizona? Yeah. You know, because there are pictures of it you know, mm-hmm. that got out, and it's fucking hysterical. He's got like he's like white trash Superman. It's uh, awesome. White I would trash. watch the fucking hell out of that. Tim Burton directing that in like the early nineties. Oh my god, I want that's. That's the movie that should have been made. Hey, there's still time. It's yeah, cool. I know. And Nicholas Cage is available. He <laughs> is. He is, he is, he is <laughs> there is like, you know, death taxes and Nicholas Cage is available for your movie. Yeah, we yeah, gotta find out how much we gotta find out how much he costs so we can know how he big costs he costs a lot of money. money. He so, does wait, is money. is he on cameo? We can't uh, afford him. No, of course he's, he's on cameo. Not. He's probably the lowest, like, <laughs> he's probably like $5 for, like, I guys, just want to be no, you're on utterly your shit. Wrong. No, you're utterly wrong. You guys are, you do not grasp the scope of the problems he's in. That's the thing. No, Nicolas Cage has not always been like this. Nicolas Cage <laughs> never had a reputation <laughs> that he will just do anything he wants. That was never his thing. He did eclectic roles in his youth. But he was always discriminating with it. He would go from raising Arizona to uh, to Wild at Heart. He was he was working with David. And Lynch. those movies were amazing. And he yes, was a, and he's he well carried known. those. His acting carried those movies. He's a sure. really fucking good actor. You couldn't replace yeah. um, Nicolas Cage in Raising Arizona, and it, and it would be a, a competent movie. I mean, no. he was so fucking good in that. And, and Nicolas Cage. Now he would take chances on films and he did that all the time he would take chances on movies he would take chances on movies that didn't pan out that happens with every actor so what we think what we think of when we think of the modern nicholas cage did not happen until his money troubles until the nine castles and the tyrannosaurus rex head and everything <laughs> like that and, and like nearly going to jail th- from the irs that's when he starts doing every at the time uh like made for uh, just straight to DVD film and now straight to Netflix, straight to Hulu, straight to whatever streaming site you want. That's when that happens. But don't make the mistake that he's cheap because this movie cost $20 million. And no, that's of- because like, no, really, I, mean, I don't know how much he made, but like, I, I think a good marketing plan and this has been going on for a very long time and yeah. it happens with a lot of action stars, sure. especially action stars where, you know, Part of the budget is you just have this big name guy. You bring him what? in for a one day shoot. He's barely in this fucking movie, but he's on all the posters, and it's Nicolas Cage stars in jujitsu. Uh, but it's just it's just marketing. He's just a name to, to get the attention. Exactly. He doesn't need to be a part of this movie at all. 
No, uh, no, no. Nicholas Cage did not come. But he gets a lot of attention. And they didn't get him for two hundred fifty thousand dollars. They probably got him for five to six million dollars. <laughs> right. And he does oh. like probably five of these movies a year. Okay. Jen, you need to, Jen, you need to see his better movies. I agree with your husband. You need to see his <laughs> the better other movies. thing at the same time. You're always watching his <laughs> shitty movies and never his better movies. I'm waiting for the, Fuck is the matter with you? Snipes Buddy movie. And what can I say? Yeah, it, it's gonna be called yeah, that movie's gonna be called called um we owe fucking back taxes. The movie, <laughs> <laughs> the action movie, right? Um, yeah, I don't know. Um, I, I I don't know if they have the same accountant or what. But man, Wesley Snipes and um, and uh, I, yeah, I'm drunk too, Gareth. Yeah, castles That's ain't my cheap. Also, castles ain't cheap, everybody. Castles ain't cheap, um, even in Ireland, right? If you're gonna be, and, and it's not even like that's his primary residence. But he it's like a, you can buy him fairly cheap, but then the heating bill, oh my god. Right. Um, <laughs> That's where it gets you. Yeah, that heating yeah. bill. You got, you, got to keep, you, you got to pay for security to keep the Vikings out of there and shit. The secret to owning a castle is that you have the room with the heat and the hot water and the running water and the toilet, and you leave the rest <laughs> in the evil state. And then it doesn't cost that much. So, <laughs> so basically, you're living in a See, studio. Like, every, yeah. Everybody who buys a castle in Ireland needs to like you know have a seminar so, with Jules first. When you're, when you're Jules set them straight. When you're drilling through, <laughs> six foot wide let me wall, tell you how to own a wide castle in Ireland. You know that's a great yeah. way to make your money, your castle a money sink. You know I'm saying maybe right. that should be a podcast. That's right. Mm -hmm. Yes. How, uh, to, how to own a castle. That's, That's right. what we need. More fucking Welcome break off fucking podcasts. Podcast and castle <laughs> or drunken. Welcome to drunken uh, Irish castle. No castle wow. hunters instead of house hunters. <laughs> right. We're going to set you straight on how to buy a fucking Irish castle. You That's fucking right. Dick faces. <laughs> Remember when this whole podcast was about Lou Diamond Phillips and he's probably... <laughs> He's probably loving it. Like, thank God they're not like, talking thank about goodness, me anymore. All the attention has been they're all on Nicholas Cage. I can rest and relax easy now. Mm -hmm. What? I can tell you, when we abandoned Lou Diamond Phillips from this podcast, that's that's when we went downhill. That's, that's when really we when we became <laughs> cursed. I mean, we got the curse of LDP. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You don't shake that, man. But yeah. anyhow, anyhow what, what happens in the movie is not very important like we said it's, <laughs> it was it, like a, 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 a it's tiny bit of plot here. set up and that's like when your way, movie's shitty way too long a fight scene mm -hmm. a little more plot added in to kind of like you know add to it a bit and then just like w way too long of a gratuitous violence yeah yeah and yeah like, yeah, yeah. yeah so take you, you you take predator you make it shitty you add a bunch of random People who aren't the army. Let me the, 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 let me complain about the army for a while. <laughs> um, go ahead and complain about the, the army. The army. <laughs> while we enjoy our freedom. While we enjoy our freedom. Army who only had bare hands and knives because they couldn't afford assault rifles. Happy, happy Memorial Day, everybody. Yeah, and I have to say that like it was pretty clever. I thought that this is apparently like the near future or something like that, so they didn't have to spring out. You know, big money at like the Army Navy store to buy Army uniforms. They can just go to Home Depot and put like stickers on that say like "Future Army" on them or something. I mean, it was absolutely it was horrible. But I mean, it was clever. So they wait. Didn't was it? Wait, um, no, 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 no. Was it in the future? I thought. I thought I assume, it was. I assume that we all had shitty non-Army uniforms. And why? They were supposed to, why no, was no, 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 they were, they, I mean, you can't just put the U.S. Army in Burma it, and be it like was just, it was a special what was that interrogation room. Was really like the ops mission? Hmm? Was there like the Burma Guantanamo there in that interrogation room? Like <laughs> me and my. Well, <laughs> and that's that's where it all starts to fall apart because the guy is waking up. He doesn't know who he is or what's going on, and he starts fighting the entire army. And that one person has a gun. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I know. Every person comes in <laughs> to fight the prisoner. That's the U.S. Army. 
was particularly stayed is being kind of like instead of spending money on weapons, we changed to like we're just gonna fight with our fists now. I mean, right. <laughs> we're gonna fight with Home Depot weapons. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Save, save on a budget. More money in. for Nicolas Cage. Um, that's the future, guys. Sure. Yeah. Um, yeah, he needs that uh, castle money. Anyways, um, uh, 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 all right, he go on. He still deserved better, Albert. <laughs> At least Tony Ja got one decent fight sequence, even if everyone went down with one punch. Uh, reboot Kickboxer is a decent martial sure, sure, artist. Yeah. Who got to be Batman for five minutes? I don't know who Tony Jaw is. What's going on here? Everybody, fill me in. Tony Jaw is um, he he's is a martial king. artist he's cast in movies. And he's, okay. he's started movies before. Okay. So everybody seems yeah, to think yeah. that he, he was actually no, Tony crazy. Good. He's a Thai martial artist, okay. actor, action choreographer. Mm -hmm. Okay. Stuntman, director, Trey Core, and former Buddhist monk. I see. Now, hey. And now you know, and knowing is half the battle. Mm -hmm. That's right. So, all right, what happens here? So, you, Jake, you our know character, Tony. he falls from a cliff. Yeah. He hits his head in the ocean. He gets uh, he gets rescued by some on locals. Bank films. That's it. On the the US yeah, military. I just have to say our audience is like completely dissing us right now. We like we don't. They're like you, Gareth is like you don't, you don't know don't country. Know Tony. You don't know martial <laughs> artists. What the fuck are you doing having a fucking podcast, you assholes? <laughs> <laughs> is this in the martial arts podcast? <laughs> Everyone's like bad. If you guys invited me to that. The Ong Back film series. Sorry, we haven't seen it, guys. <laughs> this Tony I guess we have guy Tony sounds like fans. right. Sounds like a great guy. We just never heard of him. Haven't seen any of the movies. Anyways, carry on. <laughs> <laughs> so we can't uh, be bothered with that shit. Bring, they bring Jake to sure. the U.S. military, <laughs> playing at the art cinema. <laughs> you missed the art cinema <laughs> bit, Gareth. You missed the art <laughs> cinema bit. <laughs> yeah, we covered the art cinema early on. Yeah, do you think they'll ever play um, action <laughs> pornography at the art cinema? I, I hope think so. there's a target audience there. Could be, you I know. I think that's a. It get the younger yeah. crowd in there, you know. They like those action movies. <laughs> Good business idea. <laughs> it's like I like porn, but there's just not enough. Action and fighting. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. So, guys, maybe that's maybe that's our next business venture. We'll, we'll right next to the art cinema. We'll have the action art cinema. <laughs> it's cool, but with action, it already has my money. I'm, it, I'm, I, I'm, I'm just really take my money, right? right. Um, All right, we'll start a GoFundMe. See what happens. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's carry on. I'm just gonna mute myself. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> I should okay. I should do this every episode. <laughs> so what do people what do people need to know about this movie? Let's just let's just streamline here. Let's uh, the not movie. to waste no, their time. Yeah, That's the guy sure. hit his head and can't remember who That's he was, and he's like this big muscular martial arts bro who now has a medical condition I could only label as bronesia. He can't remember who he is. But like, uh -oh. and you say um, yeah. And then like later yeah, on, he yeah, runs into the people who you gotta he, coin that. He, um, I I guess they were like his the people who he was fighting the alien with over the these six year cycles or something, and he couldn't remember who they are. And they were like, "Are you serious? You don't remember us?" He's like, "No, dude, I don't remember you." And then there's a bunch of fighting, and then this alien shows up, and, uh, and there's more yeah. fighting. <laughs> guys, a whole lot of guys, I know, I know, I know. I said I was gonna mute for a while. <laughs> I, have you guys ever heard of the movie The Terminator? <laughs> I have. Never. <laughs> How about yeah. the Sperminator? <laughs> All right, I'm going back on mute. Get out, John. <laughs> Just leave. Ah. <laughs> Carrier. <laughs> so, yeah, I mean that's Miramax. it. You know, 
We can probably but, buy the Miramax brand name at this point. I'm sure. <laughs> Do you get we'll it just, though? He's not. We'll he's not the Terminator. And add them together. It's a porn action parody of the Terminator <laughs> called the Sperminator. I get it, John. I do right. get it. Yeah. All right. Because <laughs> yeah, so anyway, he, like, so he, the he field ejaculates. They're, the they're fighting for no reason. <laughs> What are you drinking, John? <laughs> at at oh, that point, he goes me. back to the army, right? The army takes him again. All the army dies except Something for like like, that, yeah. people. But they still manage to grab Bronesia guy. Bronesia? And then, <laughs> and then, and then they go back. You're such a racist. What the hell is that, Bronesia guy? <laughs> That was. <laughs> it's not even. It hasn't been Burma for like fucking forty years. Dude. No, 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 John. John, it was supposed to be Asia. another. I'm telling you, five years. This is not present day. That, that this is supposed to be some other time, because. Well, no. I mean, on one hand, I thought that about the comet. At first, I thought, oh, this is a different time because there's some weird comet. But no, they're implying that for the past two thousand years, there's been a gigantic visible. Comet going through the sky every six years. Yeah, it's, oh, it's a good thing there was, physics and it's gravity a, for a second. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good thing there was a character who was a mystic and could explain the mysticism behind the comet. <laughs> Why do we watch so many movies where there's like an indigenous person who's like a mystic? Yeah, it's a trope. It's a pretty bad trope. Yeah, yeah. Everything about this movie made me so tired. <laughs> it was already a long day before I watched the movie. Yeah, yeah it, it was not a good way to do. And uh, yeah, because it was also two hours long. Let's talk about that. So yeah, it was really. Yeah, that that's the unforgivable. And if they had cut the fight scenes in half, the movie would have been an hour. Well, they so, could have cut the point, pointless scenes that just couldn't. They're just fighting. They're just fighting the the dude. They're just fighting so, the alien. Guys, they can we take? Can we, as you brought that up, you bring up a good point. I want to take a vote right now. Mm -hmm. I want to cap the duration of Jason movies. I don't think he should be allowed to have 120 <laughs> minutes. Is <laughs> they're fucking painful? I want to cap it at 75 minutes. <laughs> Going forward, he's only allowed <laughs> movies that are 75 minutes or less. Because there is a movie that I'm not going to pick, but I was in the back of my time? mind. They're excruciate. His movies a movie are that's fucking three hours of just weird nonsense. Like it does. Like there's a movie from Japan called Funky Forest that I'm not going to pick. That is three <laughs> hours of just random weirdness. He is the worst at this. Like if I if I was ca if I was a prisoner of war and they gave me the choice of mm -hmm. like. Chinese water torture or watching Jason Jason's Pick. fucking movies <laughs> on a loop. I would have. I would rush towards Chinese water torture because his movies are excruciating and they're so uh, fucking long. <laughs> it's like the, his movies are two hours uh, of I time killers. I have a question. I don't know. I, I have an know. answer. Yeah, is, I, is, I have a question. How? <laughs> what is the average length of a Neil Breen film? Of a what? Neil Breen. Of a oh. Neil Breen. Song. We've only watched two, and next week we'll watch our third, so we'll find out. <laughs> <laughs> Just divide that by three. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, Crab right. Man. Here's, Did anyone here, else watch? At Green least Crab Girl? Man survived. Um, Darnell. <laughs> Nick Cage is, all right. One? Albert Tyler wrote Nick Cage's epitome of He's crazy. We ain't gonna explain shit with a smidge of "I am your father." That's, that's really well. That's really well put, Albert. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we get some words from wisdom from this dude. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna skip ahead to that "I am your father" crap because sure. that was about the time where I was kind of like, maybe I can just fast forward some of this because I'm so I'm so tired. And then I watched the, the memorial scene for Nick Cage. And then the lady's just kind of like, oh, he was your dad. Oh, we all <laughs> want to talk about. They have, what are they, 13 years apart? How is Nick Cage that dude's father? 
Gareth like, just wrote, I feel like someone should be sent us to watching this movie. And he spelled movie like like a guy who's had a few drinks. <laughs> like if convicted for like if convicted for manslaughter. Look, right, if movies you know, are a punishment for a convicted person, I've got worse ones than this. Oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah, well you I don't do. Believe you, Jason. Yeah, Jason does. Um Ian just walked away because we were just like off the fucking hook now. And he just is right, so, so sick of us. So, all right, so you're ready to figure it out. So again, it's like predator. Except for like what the army is doing makes no sense. <laughs> well, who are the people? And also, he don't, uses the force. Don't worry about it. They all die. Have you talked about that yet? <laughs> No. Right, there's a little bit of the force in there because why the fuck? Why the fuck not? Let's just throw all this. There's jujitsu and the force and all that. Yeah. They really right. should have called this ju the jujitsu and the force and a bunch of other shit. The movie <laughs> that would have been a better title. That's okay. about right. So that is about Mickey right. Is his father? Oh, what, no, we didn't. I mean, that was where I like really couldn't take it anymore. Was before the father part where they give the whole explanation of the plot, where it's like, you you are Jujutsu, the alien game is called Jujutsu, or whatever. I mean, it didn't... I, 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 that was, I was... I couldn't... Yeah. I, I couldn't, yeah. Yeah, yeah that, that's where... That oh, all right, Ian, why don't, don't, you, Ian, why don't you You're take like, uh, Albert's post here? The alien gave us all... <laughs> What's that? Hmm? I'd like for you to address that. Okay. Yeah. Albert says, uh, and by the way, Albert, good to see you again. Uh, given that one, that one guy who was the side Bond villain with diamonds in his face, a.k.a. Captain Sand, uh, insinuated interrogator lady died, I'm guessing no. Wait, so she apparently she did was at that job... I I'm not sure. I don't. I'm not sure. I don't, I don't get that, that reference. Sentence. What's that? Yeah, she did. She did die, and oh uh, yeah. She I don't died? know, man. I don't know. This movie. This movie kind of broke me. It, it broke yeah. me too. I could not focus. <laughs> I, I just couldn't. Let's talk about the army um, interrogator one, who's like, you know, she's good at her job because she's like. I'm army interrogator woman and I'm good at my job. <laughs> he literally says it out loud. Like, I'm good at this. So, you know, that, that's how you know. Yeah, I can't. I can't. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know, man. I don't know what to give you. I don't know what to give you. The one thing that I will say about this movie is that was so infuriating is it is an action movie that is 50% action, all right? 50% of this action is giving us, of this movie is giving us what we're supposed to want, which is badass fight scenes, nonstop ass kicking all the time. And, and you do have good martial artists in this film. You do have good choreography in this film. And I've never seen it be so boring. It was so utterly boring. All it's of the martial there's, arts. There's and, I explain. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, but you know what isn't boring is uh, Nicolas Cage as Superman, as uh, meth, uh, methed up Superman. Um, and I just put a, a, a photo of. Uh, I guess he did a screen test. Um, what? Yeah, my, my favorite when he was, a, when that, he was attached to the project. Whoa. My favorite part of that outfit is his jock strap. Yeah, my favorite is like oh where he's got abs and he doesn't. Enormous. He doesn't really have abs. It's like the suit is like abs, Ooh, but like, yeah, he's, wow. <laughs> yeah, he's got like long hair and, um, <sighs> he just looked like he did a bunch of meth and like, here's this meth guy. He's going to save the day. It's like, oh shit. It's like, yeah, I, I want you to save this school bus from falling off the bridge, but you look like you're on meth and I don't know if you're safe. <laughs> <laughs> That's the movie I wanted to see. Why couldn't this fucking movie? That would be great. Super <laughs> Meth Man. And you know what? I can't talk about Su Ian clams up when I talk about Superman because a few weeks back I did I I did throw it out there that Superman is is not a man and he's not super on this planet and and uh, it kind of ruined our relationship and um, I don't think we're the friends that we were before. I've never 
But no, I, I certainly mean, not. I, I made the no. point that you know, it's like if I went to Mars and called myself Super Martian because <laughs> like their son gave me some like superpowers. You know, I'm not a Martian. I shouldn't call myself Super Martian <laughs> just because I can do shit that no, other no, Martians no, no. can't I, do I, on, fact, on Mars. No. That's <laughs> fucked up. I don't know. I'm sorry it ruined our relationship, Ian. I mean, I hope I hope we can work through it. No, no points that you made there do I disagree with. <laughs> but you're still you would still fucking hate my guts. Just no, no, no. What it, what it, what it is there? What it, let's what talk about it. There. Let's do it. See, we can go to family to therapy, that. but then we'd be excluding our audience. <laughs> so let's work it out now. Go ahead. Tell me how you really feel. No, no, no. I, I, I have to. I have to come clean about this, which is, I got a little pissy with you that episode. I will admit. And I thought you were going to give, whenever anybody says, I'll tell you the problem with Superman, there's kind of a <laughs> stock thing, a stock <laughs> arguments everybody gives. They're all utter bullshit, and I did not have time for it. Uh, right. I will say that those, this is a safe those place. points that you <laughs> made there are, are yeah, this completely, is valid, completely valid and are, in fact, some of the things that I think make Superman great. All right. But he's not a man. He's super. Uh, can we he just admit he's not. Let's a just man. change his name to <laughs> average. Average. Uh, uh, he is. Uh, he is not a human man. It is true. He's from. Um, uh, what's the name of the planet? Krypton. Krypton. So uh, can we just call oh, him? That'd be Pittsburgh. <laughs> um, Mississippi. <laughs> yeah. Let's just call him average. Um, uh, average alien. And move on. <laughs> sure. Is it is there it hugged go. out as Gareth suggested? I you think guys good. It's so oh, much as oh, we, we, we did we did not need we didn't need hugging out. We didn't need it. We're Pins fine. Um, average well, average average yeah, we're here. average kryptonite. We should call him. I think we've learned from watching a lot average of our kryptonite. movies that so many disputes between people can be solved with martial arts. So why don't the two just fight it out? Yeah, as, as long as you use PVC weapons from Home Depot. <laughs> yeah, but let's talk about why these scenes were horrible. The scenes were horrible was because essentially bullets, bombs, throwing stars, whatever, they're just not going to hit anybody if, <laughs> if they don't need them to. And people are just going to punch each other. It's just like, it's just like a, a regular fight, but with weapons just missing everybody and not killing anybody and it, it, it just all right why it, are you wasting like, so much effort like yeah I, like i don't i don't know is that really the the best way to capture earth i mean i guess that was their goal <laughs> is to um at least that's what wikipedia tells why me did they want, like the alien wanted to capture earth or take it over but with honor yeah, and was only fighting to, was just cool and playing by the rules everybody. and as long as everyone plays by the rules, he's not going to take over the planet. It was like if everybody gave him a good fight, then everything was going to be fine. But if he didn't get a good fight, he was just going to literally just kill everybody. Destroy right? villages, burn down cities. <laughs> I guess. I right. mean, I think it's just a half-hearted <laughs> attempt to capture Earth. I don't think they really had their heart into it. Yeah, I think no. Earth was right. It's just like, no. I'm going to go... You know, and according to Wikipedia, they've been trying for thousands of years. Uh, the invaders have lost to Earth's defenders, who are um, these, I don't know. Jake. Jake, guys. Um, <laughs> Nicholas Cage. Yeah, Nicholas Cage. Yeah, I mean, we're, yeah, we're, the whole galaxy is afraid of him. Um, so every six years, for thousands of years. In the world six years before this movie. We've just out jujitsu them. And, That's what um, without would be like, oh, 20 years ago, Nicolas Cage saved the, the world. No, it was literally six years ago, is what they <laughs> were in the movie. And it's, it tells you how foolish our government is. We're, we're like investing in all of these nuclear weapons and, and all of these things when we're spending nothing on jujitsu. 
<laughs> and and Nicholas Cage is well, no, I mean, or a PVC okay. pipe, Let's talk about the right? Or, or, or Home Depot weapons? The way they kill the alien forever. Zero. Which was the alien can heal after he's stabbed. Now I know nothing about martial arts. I have nothing to contribute to a fight. All I know is, is that if I'm fighting an alien that heals up. <laughs> You're like everyone in this movie. Go ahead. <laughs> I would be like, oh, what happens if I keep stabbing him while he's healing instead of just running away? <laughs> I would just keep stabbing him because he's incapacitated. Or, yeah, maybe I'll put a grenade or something inside while he's incapacitated because I don't know what else to do. I am not creative. I have no unique insight on how to defeat an alien. But the idea that it took two thousand years for us to figure it out, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. But every six years for thousands of years, can you imagine failing that much and like keep at it? Like what? Every six years? Every six years, it's in living six memory years. all the time. Even fucking Pennywise didn't come back for every like twenty-five <laughs> years or some mm -hmm. shit. Like, every move on, six dude. years, like, move on, Brax. right? You're getting your ass kicked every six years, and you just keep coming back. And he has to go your, back to his your home Chinese planet. stars. He has to go back to his home planet and shame, and everybody being like embarrassed by him. Yeah, I know. It's like, god damn it, <laughs> another thousand years, another fucking Nicolas Cage beat me at that. God damn, I gotta get better at that <laughs> jujitsu. God damn it. Ah. Did did I read this wrong? Because I thought it wasn't that they just keep beating him every time, but like he had rules. Like he would come in and he would fight. He would fight the nine best fighters, and if they fought bravely, mm -hmm. he would leave. <laughs> Even if they died, time. as long as they died they honorably, he would leave. And then come back in six years. Yeah, for no, no fucking reason. Why don't you just stay and try to fucking kill him? <laughs> Somebody needs to die, so this needs to keep stop happening. I don't know. Yeah. I mean, watching this, I just thought this movie was just like a day in the life of Jason. To be honest, I think this is what Jason does all day with his, with his martial arts. But there was no Bitcoin mining. I think. Um, <laughs> well, that's the yeah. sequel. Yeah, <laughs> Jujitsu Two, <laughs> Ethereum mining. Um, yeah. <laughs> I think uh, Jason has secret battles with uh, Nicolas Cage um, when we're not around, just to sharpen his skills. <laughs> All right, uh, All right. Conti continue with us. Anybody have anything else to say about this? Yeah, What's I mean, the, it, it, the way. Well, let's walk through the ending. Yeah, the ending was like, okay, there's more fighting that just keeps going on, and then. The alien gets sidekicked and gets pushed back into the target portal. Number. And then the mystic lady is like, he's gone forever. Yay, movie's Yay. over. <laughs> you will be back in, be back in six, after coming back every no, six no. years for 2,000 well, years. He's gone forever because we put up, we finally but used a grenade. She said, she said <laughs> like, I was thinking, count. I have to say that it's not honorable for an alien with an intergalactic portal to come through <laughs> and threaten to like kill everybody on the planet every six years. <laughs> I know. Counter and fall. That's and the, the way I'm seeing it. I don't know. And if that were to happen, I mean, is jujitsu our best defense against like <laughs> aliens well, like, taking over there? You involved. The, thankfully, yeah. we, we gave that idea up. We gave us jujitsu, and we decided not to use it. You know, yeah. we didn't even talk about the alien at all. Yeah, we um, didn't. You're right. Correct. Uh, Humanoid, he is. Why does he right. have five fingers? Why Ian, does he have a spine? Why, Ian, why, talk why about the alien. Yeah, like talk the master about, control talk. program from Tron. Yeah. Right. That, if Ian, did his face when it would show up. <laughs> it's the master control program from Tron. Ian, talk a little bit about shit predator. Yeah, it was a, it's a bad predator, man. 
He had a bad suit. He had a, he had a space visor. Right. You kind of got uh, a, right. a TV image of the, of the alien's face on there. It was some bullshit. It was, it was a bullshit alien. Uh, I, Anybody I got to, anything to add to that? <laughs> yeah, I need to say that um, uh, Gareth's buddy made 80 grand of with Therium. <laughs> Whatever the fuck with Therium is. <laughs> Why wasn't I mining for that the whole time? I don't know, man. With Therium is going up, baby. I'm you telling gotta you. Make, you got to make that. Sell, That's how you sell make your house money. and put it into with Therium. <laughs> if you type it in wrong, it's but if you type it in wrong... That's what you need. I mean, Ethereum is yesterday's news. The future is with Ethereum. <laughs> oh, boy. Spinning back kick. Poor yep. fucking Ian, who's like completely sober, who has to put up with this shit. <laughs> Are you the only one not drinking? Uh, Ian is like. Mm -hmm. Ian oh, is right. So Ian is like the referee in a WWF battle royal. What do you want? It's jujitsu. Right. It's jujitsu. It's a. Um, um, it's described by Wikipedia as science fiction martial arts film. I wasn't aware that we needed any of that, and I don't know if uh, Nicolas Cage is the right choice to um, to star in that. Also, Ian froze because the teachers' union um, <laughs> is censoring his speech, and I guess once he we talked about him said, drinking again, yeah, mm -hmm. alcohol came up. You, you just any mention of alcohol. Uh, um, teachers' union, even though he's stone sober, but man, they got a control over yeah, pretty much everything. Definitely this this um, this podcast. Um, you know, I, each I talk episode about has to be reviewed. One quick thing. Yep. When I Googled this movie, there are apologists for this movie. There are people who are saying just like, oh, it's just fun. They're making the just fun excuse for this movie. No. Yeah. Despite the fact that there's no fun in it. It's no not hard <laughs> to write a movie that doesn't insult your intelligence, does not waste your time, where people are just beating each other so up. That's not a crazy writing assignment that's not doesn't take crazy talent. People do it all the time. This movie was not that. It was just you know. <laughs> it was just bad. Yeah, yeah. I mean, because you can you can have a movie of just people just beating the shit out of each other constantly, and it doesn't have to be as stupid and tiresome and pointless as this. Yeah, you know, I mean, even you know, and Ian will disagree with this but even like neil breen films have you know something to like but there really isn't much to like i mean except for just the the shitty mail it in action scenes and i don't know if there i i, I know you know grow you know we're me and you are kind of the same age and, and jen um you know when we grew up you just had these shitty action movies they just shit them out and yeah. people would, would like them because they were um you know, action movies, but I don't know if there's really an audience for that type of just, oh, I just want to see Nicolas Cage kick some ass. Like, when in the 80s, like, oh, you know, we'd go to the theater and watch Arnold Schwarzenegger, mm -hmm. you know, beat up some commie. You know, I, I, I just think it's kind of played out right now. More craft than anything Arnold did, really. You know what I mean? There wasn't, it wasn't just a pile of crap on the floor. With, with fight scenes in between, you know what I mean. It wasn't, you know what I mean. Oh. There'd be some string holding it together. Yeah, <laughs> I did feel like I was in tension. Yeah. <laughs> that's exactly it. That's, that's, yeah, yeah. You know, I, I mean, I I know people who like anything science fiction, and um, but and they would still hate this. No, <laughs> they don't hate anything. They don't hate anything science fiction. But is, I mean, is this really science fiction, Ian? No, not at all. It well, isn't, right? I guess. I mean, there's an alien. There's a portal. I don't know. Is that the that, definition? Uh, that's that's kind of the bare minimum. I would but say. What did you? What, be a what fantasy movie when it could just be a fantasy movie instead, and absolutely nothing would change. 
Yeah. What, yeah, you, yeah. what, what is everyone's thoughts of, of the alien? What's What does everyone think of Brax? That's why would an alien look like that? Like, why would they have the suit and the like? Well, I know Gareth for was like, Jean Claude Van Damme came out at the end to see Brax, right? That would um, <laughs> that would be surprising, but that still wouldn't say. I mean, that still it wouldn't, wouldn't save, save it. <laughs> no, uh, that would be that would be like, oh look, hey, here's Jean Claude Van Damme. <laughs> uh, it's still shitty, but hey, look at that. It's got to have science to be science fiction. <laughs> <laughs> right. Uh, right. I mean, also, is science anybody... is right there in the name, you know? <laughs> <laughs> is anybody going to bring up the fact that, like, so the, the alien's oh, whole correct. point is honor. Like, the alien likes brave fighters, as Nicolas Cage says. <laughs> he likes brave fighters, not cowards. Yet his whole thing is, is having, like, a regenerating suit. That's his whole thing. The alien is actually getting his ass kicked throughout the entire movie. Like every every character goes in there and kicks this alien's ass for like 10 minutes. And then the suit regenerates him. And yeah. so, I mean, fuck this alien. No, it was a better alien. Fuck this alien. Fuck, uh, fuck the, everyone. The I alien. wanted everyone to die in this movie. The, the alien from Amanda in The Alien. Yeah. Was a much better alien. Uh, I still alien. hate you for making me watch that fucking movie, you The asshole. alien from Dead Weekend. Fucking Weekend? Amanda and the alien. Yeah. Dead Nothing Weekend. was worse much than a alien. Missed that one. You know was a much, much, much better alien? Was Bad Alien from I Come in Peace? Yeah. I mean, <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> like, Jules. I'll never forgive you for that. Did you never. Think while watching this film, just. How like just like Orson Welles level it made I come in peace scene. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Now, could I just be watching that movie again? I'm like, oh what wait, why am I what am I remembering? And I'm like, oh it's I come in peace from like literally a week ago or whatever. Because <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> there's throwing stars and just yeah, alien not Gareth loved I come in peace. <laughs> he might be thinking of the porn uh, version of "come" was spelled in a different way. Um, no, we're talking about uh, yeah, different movie. Now, if there's one final thought I have on this atrocity, it, it, it's a small thing, but it's uh -oh, Jen, how you Jen's how gone. you can take actual good martial arts mm -hmm. and make it incomprehensible and boring, and we got to blame a director that I actually quite like a lot, who is Paul Greengrass. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, Paul Greengrass is, did he even do the first born movie or just the second born movie? I don't know. I don't remember, but Greengrass kind of, I'll look it up. Paul he, Greengrass. Yeah. He pioneered this kind of action style. It's like a cinema verte, like the uh, often it's handheld camera, but you're moving the camera around the subject while the action is happening. And when Greengrass does it, it is fantastic. It has then been adopted by every director under the sun, including crappy ass directors like the one of this film. And it is just, if you would just station it, if you would just park the damn camera um, and let the martial artists do their work, it would have looked, at least it would have looked good. All right. Uh, the Born Supremacy was his first oh, born movie. Yeah, the second one. Or no, then the he did the uh, the Born Ultimatum. Yeah, yeah. And yeah, then yeah. he did the uh, the Born Orgy. Yeah, he he did the great. He did the lion's share of the Born films. Right. Uh, but Jules, does ah, that let, let Jen back in? Can you Jen, <laughs> um, according to uh, her husband, Jen left for sexy time. I don't know if I should let her back in. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> All right, Jen. This is a, a PG rated <laughs> podcast, so sure. All right. From the guy dropping f bombs. Guys, settle down over there. Um, <laughs> green rested, born two and three. That's what I thought. Anyway, um, that comment is that there were actual good martial arts. Albert is right. Oh. Doug Lemon did the first born. Yes. Yeah. And if Garrett <laughs> <Here> is fast. <laughs> oh we want to brag about that. I don't know, man. That's some, uh, you know, it's a, a circle, circle of trust we have here on. The... No judgment, Gareth. I 
every right. time with the, the, the born movies every single time. <laughs> It's the like people. it's like what a uh, flight of the Concord said. Two minutes <laughs> in paradise is better than one minute in paradise. I have to bring this up about every every time born movies are brought up. It makes no sense to have super highly trained from birth spies, given that no matter how well they're trained, they can still be shot in the back by random people in my <laughs> business. It doesn't make sense. It's a it's a, yeah. it's a horrible premise. It, 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 yeah, but anyways. Yeah, don't get me started with there. I mean, I can I can go on about how all of these. Um, I can name a, a tons of superheroes who. Why just haven't they been shot? Why hasn't Batman just been fucking shot? <laughs> I mean, it's like. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm gonna upset Ian, so I'm not gonna go no. there. I am, I am not so sensitive, John. <laughs> He's never gonna speak to me again. Never gonna speak. To you again. Fucking bat! You fuck yourself, <laughs> fucking carrier. Fucking why hasn't Batman been shot? Fuck you. That's why. All right, so let's talk about the ending of of the the movie, um, between Jake and Shit Predator. <laughs> What do you want to say? They yeah, have a fight. <laughs> Jake stabs him. It. It's, it's a big deal. They've been fighting for fucking thousands of years, every six years. Then they finally fucking toast this dude. It's a big deal. They slice him up. The comic relief throws him some grenades. Uh, they need to illustrate out to everyone. Remember, he he takes a few minutes to heal. You have like three you have like 30 seconds after you fucked him up before he heals we all remembered it everyone we didn't need the voiceover telling us we've been, <laughs> we've been saying from the beginning once you beat him up a little bit please finish the job no one <laughs> it. but the voiceover reminds us of that and then the comic relief throws some grenades to jake who throws him in his belly and then does a power kick that was and comic relief yeah, yeah. Throws him <laughs> into uh, the portal, and then he explodes. Yep. And uh, and so Earth is safe now. Yeah, yeah. No uh, more. Yeah. Well, the even so I don't think years. Earth even was in like, six years. Like, the, here's the thing: if he's been coming every six years for thousands of years, like Earth is just kind of yawning every time he comes, right? And we're like, oh. yeah. yeah, yeah, not this shit again. <laughs> yeah, whatever. Fuck this also, guy. Also, so at in the final scene, the locals, you know, the uh the the local Burmese people who've been helping out throughout the whole movie, you know, the old woman says, Thank you, Jake, in you know, Burmese. Uh you have you, in our case. You've broken the two thousand year cycle. And then the one surviving military guy, the comic relief character, then say, like looks to the portal and says <laughs> See you in another six years. No, we're yeah. not, because he broke yeah. the thousand years. Right. Cycles. Yeah. Oh, but roll, yeah, credits. Guys, roll credits. Hmm. But I guess I know, didn't really speak Burmese was the gag. Yeah, yeah, that was his thing. Yeah, he was a translator and he couldn't speak. Uh, speak because a local remember, language. the U.S. Army in the in the near future doesn't know how to use guns. And does not have any translators when they go to Burma for no particular reason. <laughs> <It's just laughs> oh, okay. The only other thing that I will say in this, and again, this goes into the there was actual good martial arts happening in this film. Was and it there? Was, it, it, well, Tony Ja. I, was I there would like things. things. It was just. It would have been cooler if they kind of minimized it and like. They can't have like a fight scene that would go on, like a a, a real real world self defense situation, a real world hand to hand combat military situation is probably over in eight to ten seconds. If they really made it short like that and had maybe like one or two of the moves be the coolest moves, you would have noticed it more rather than it drags out for eight minutes. <laughs> yeah. Uh, with that, I will say, I thought the I thought the lady with the nunchucks was really awesome. I thought she was cool. That's all I got, everybody. 
that, that, that was that the best part of the movie for you? She was pretty cool. Probably. I thought, I got everybody, I'm sorry. I thought maybe the first person shots were kind of cool, but then they they kind of stole that from Doom. Oh, Jason, I hated that so much. <laughs> oh so much. Oh God. Um, so I, I respect. I respect that that you found joy in that. It's kind oh. of like, do you want the the cinematic experience of watching your friend playing a video game? <laughs> <laughs> I don't. Yeah. Well, for me, the best part of the movie was thinking about the plight of the Karen people in Burma slash Myanmar. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. If anyone knows to what I'm referring. Yes, I do. The witch people? What? Karen. No, I don't. I, I don't know. Have to Google it. I don't know. Either. Things got real here, real quick. Things got real. <laughs> All right, quick. Someone quick. say something funny. <laughs> um, Gareth, come on, you've been good. <laughs> say something funny. <laughs> best part of the movie was the credits. No, uh, that's not funny. Good. That's kind of true. Yeah, good because he ended real up. Talk. It was <laughs> such a relief. It was like, thank God, this movie's over. Fuck this. Yeah, movie. yeah, it really was. Although it would have been, it would have been a lot more rewarding if there was a shitty rap effect. <laughs> it would have been like oh. that. Would have been great. That would have yeah. been great. <laughs> All right. So uh, can we uh, can we put a wrap on this thing, everybody? Yeah. Sure. It's been an Maybe. hour and twenty minutes. Yeah. All right. Yeah. There it is. All right. Uh, we have go. done this movie. Here it is. It's okay. in the it's in the books, guys. We survived. Yeah. There you go. You know. Uh, so with that, the next. <laughs> The next time we do one of these, John, I believe you're choosing the movie. Oh, I'm choosing a movie. Okay. So um, Jen's new here, and I just, um, to, to catch her up to speed, what I like to do is what's called John Sophie's Choice, where um, instead of me picking the movie, I'll, I'll go to somebody and I'll give them um, a list of three shitty movies, and they have to pick one. So it's like Sophie's Choice. And so Jen... Oh, I, I so, would like, so, so I'd you like don't you to have pick. to get shit if the movie is really, really Right, I'll blame, you, I'll blame you. If, yeah, yeah, if yeah. like, we come back next week and, like, everybody fucking hates the movie we're watching, I'll be like, well, Jen picked it. <laughs> I didn't oh, pick man, it. I know that trick. <laughs> so I'm going to give you a list of three movies, and you tell me, um, you right. tell me what you want. All right, okay, are you ready? Oh, right now? Feel, yeah, right now. Can, feel wait, free do to, I have to choose right now? You're, wait, I, I should talk to your husband. He's going to make yeah. the decisions for you here. He wrote, I'll make Jen's picks. I, All right. You know, I'll I just am talk just to, a woman, so. I'm going to, yeah. I'm going to speak to your husband. Don't don't, inter, <laughs> don't interrupt us, Jen, okay? Please. Um, Jen, Jen, shh, shh. No, I'm just kidding. But, I mean, if you want to consult with your husband, that's fine. Um, you know, um. You ready for your three three choices? <laughs> okay. Okay. The first one is going I'm writing to this be... down. <laughs> Guys are ready. Okay. The first one is um, the religious blockbuster, um, Fireproof by Kirk Cameron. Oh, we've <laughs> oh, already God. been down this road. Ugh. Oh no. <laughs> oh we no, Jason, we haven't been down this road. <laughs> <laughs> but if Jen picks it. We're going to go down that road. But that, that's up to her. That's not up to me. Your second choice is, um, are you familiar with a director named Neil Breen? Well, I've, I've heard you talk about it. Gareth, he's really, he's, Neil Green? he's uh, husband says yes. He's an impactful director. Neil Green. What, would you agree with that? Ian? Say that. Oh, yes. What's he's an impactful talk? director. Um, right. Um, and we're and uh, the selection I would like um, is a movie called uh, Pass Through by Pass uh, Through Pass Through by Neil okay. Breen. Okay. And the third movie is um, you know if you like science fiction I'll give you a science fiction. This is um, somebody guess it. It is uh, we did a Dolph Lundgren movie I believe oh, last geez. week. This is Dolph Lundgren's first movie after Rocky Four. Who's gonna pick it? 
It is Masters of the Universe, Ooh. where Dolph Lundgren plays He-Man. Ooh. Ooh. So that your three, tempting. your three choices, <laughs> Jen, and John Sophie's choice is um, Fireproof, where um, Kirk, Kirk Cameron yeah. gets caught watching Don't porn by his Christian wife, <laughs> and uh, and they go through a, a, a really turbulent time. Oh my God. Um, you and, Neil Fire Breen, Fire. okay, Neil uh, Breen's pass through where I don't know what the movie's about, but I can tell you it's all about Neil Breen. <laughs> <laughs> and then there's uh, there's Dolph Lundgren he playing He-Man, he um, which is uh, you know, hey, He-Man. Who doesn't like He-Man? How bad, I have to pick hey, right now how, how bad can you, you have to pick right now, right this second. Um, I do have to pick right now? You have to pick right now jen okay it's between kurt cameron and dolph lundgren or whatever his name is ooh, 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 ooh. i guess i'm gonna have to go with he-man for old school nostalgia you heard it here first everybody I, 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 i'm going with he-man he-man no and masters of the universe we're going with Lundgren. Dolph Lundgren, not Lundgren. <laughs> Sorry, he's a Swedish uh, man. He's not Russian, as I was raised to believe. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Masters of the Universe. I don't know if you guys have seen this. I haven't seen it. I've seen the trailer. Have you seen it, and it, lo it looks absolutely horrible. <laughs> um, he's wearing an awful wig with a mullet and... Um, it's probably like shirtless and leather clad with a sword by any chance. You know what? It's probably garbage pill kid quality. Is <laughs> yeah, what I'm, it's exactly what the I'm same making. thing where it's like, we don't have the budget to do <laughs> masters of the universe. So we'll send master. We'll send he man to like present day <laughs> Los Angeles. It's just like, I haven't seen it either, but I remember being a kid and being like, that's not going to be any good. That's not, that's not what anybody wants. So yeah. Albert writes, you have elected Frank Langella as Skeletor. You have chosen well. <laughs> Frank Langella as Skeletor is amazing. We'll find out. Have you seen this, Ian? Oh, yes, absolutely. Oh, okay, all right. all right. I think maybe Gareth should be a guest next week because well, he's funnier than I am. I, I think you guys are a team. I'm 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 liking the uh, I'm liking the uh, the combo you guys are. We I mean everyone's welcome on the show. We'd love to have Gareth in any capacity. But next week it will be Masters of the Universe starring um, Drago. What is his first name? Dolph. No, on <laughs> Ivan Drago. Ivan Drago. What? Um, as your hero, He Man. Oh, wait. So who's Dolph Lundgren in the movie? He is He Man. No, you would be, that would be He Man. Just, oh, Drago, I get it. There you go. Now All you right. get it. Let's now make it a joke. It. All, right. All right. There we go. All right. Well, have a good night, everybody. All right. Have a good night, everyone. Thank you, Jen. Thank you, Gareth. Thank you, Albert. Goodbye and Bye. good luck. Right. Peace. Prepare. <laughs>